Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so let's talk about Bitcoin. It's trading at 36.11 right now. It's Friday, uh, June the 18th. Uh, so before we get it started, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit those notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away. And if you think this videos are helping you with your trading, with your investing, then please give me thumbs up. That really means a lot and gives me motivation to create this content for you guys and hopefully you're learning something from it and applying in your trading. Alright, so let's get it started. Um, in the previous video I made, I mentioned that <clears throat> using, you know, the 50-day moving average uh, for Bitcoin and I was talking about there is a lot of uh, resistance that we need to overcome in Bitcoin in order to get past, um, you know, some of the upper levels like 38 and 4,000. So the trading range for the Bitcoins is getting narrow and narrow right now. Uh, so what does it mean? So when the trading range gets narrow, that most likely you know you will see some kind of uh, some kind of move coming up, whether up or down, uh, pretty soon. So what happened is when you have a pinch happens. If I if I zoom this in a little bit more. So let's draw this thing and let let me let me explain what I mean by um, you know the pinch. So when I draw this. Uh, taking the high from the previous couple of days and making a straight line from here right and then same thing in the bottom what what we get is a pinch we, we there is a symmetric there's a there's a uh, a sideways triangle if you will and like you know there's a pinch action that is coming up uh, at the apex so what it creates is a pressure where like you know uh, whether if there's enough pressure on the upside then you will see a nice breakout toward the upside until we hit the ceiling of the 50-day moving average or even the resistance of this upper trend line if there is enough pressure on the downside then you will see there is a downward break and we might uh, you know uh, hit the support of this uh, this bottom trend line and if there is enough um, if, if there is like more pressure on the downside then you will see that uh, support break and perhaps go to the lower level of support which could be around 3200 in Bitcoin or even down to the previous low of 3100 so that's exactly you know what we are seeing right now uh, so Back on January the 10th, we had this massive drop. Right now, we are like consolidation. Uh, we are doing the consolidation in the lower base, creating this, you know, this pinch action in the bottom of the uh, bottom of the trend. So, and basically, the, we are right at the apex of this uh, action. And within 24 to 48 hours, you will see some kind of, you know, move in here where, you know, there there will be somewhat decisive uh, break toward the upside or toward the downside. Uh, and now, and when I say break, it is it's not going to be break from the bigger trend line, not from the bigger like picture. This is more into a smaller you know a smaller framework if you will it's, it's not a it's not a it's not a major break or major breakdown all right um, so we just need to keep an eye on on how exactly this is going to uh, affect it's your guess about a breakout or breakdown is as good as mine because it's hard to tell in this uh, bottom formation whether it's going to break up or down especially in the current market where things are very volatile and it's hard to predict um, the bears still have a little more edge because the sentiment in the market is still negative uh, a lot of people uh, who have been holding the coins for a long time or people who are bullish they have been burned uh, so it's the sentiment uh, have been a little bit on the negative side um, and we need to regain those you know trust within the bulls so we can see some upward uh, momentum uh, so that being said the bigger trend line still remains there is still a lot of resistance that we have to um, we have to get through on the upside for Bitcoin so don't be very like you know uh, surprise if we have it if it takes some time or if the consolidation will like take a little bit longer to break through this uh, resistance because there is a uh, severe resistance that we need to you know get through um, on the on the upside 
now, and now if I look at the if I look at the weekly, um, you know, same thing. We are, you know, are going to run against the the moving average for the nine day. That's gonna come up, and that is also going to act as a resistance of weekly. So uh, there is um, there is quite a bit of resistance, and you know, bulls will have to do uh, a very good job and work pretty hard to get past this resistance all right um and they need to do this sooner rather than later because if they don't if they just sit on it and just wait and wait and what is going to happen is then someone's going to start shorting someone with the bigger account will start shorting for intermediate intermediate trade and what will happen is other trader will jump onto that short bandwagon and they will try to push the market lower that is a real scenario that have happened in the past so that it's, it's a it's a really you know a gray area it's you know a lot of people have done that even in the stock market where they try to manipulate the price action um, and in and, and crypto is much easier because the liquidity you know um, especially like in a smaller coins like litecoin uh, litecoin or even like you know any other coins where you don't need that big of account to push the coins lower like, i mean uh, a bunch of trader like if they decide to trade together and uh, start pushing the coin lower you will see a momentum that is uh, going to build and you will see the momentum traders who will jump on it on top of that what you will see is you know uh, the automated trading where like you know the trading bots will see the signal that okay there is a support that was broken now let's start selling the you know um, let's start selling uh, let's start selling because the support have been broken so uh, there is a lot of factors that can cause that uh, scenarios um, so it's not just one thing it's a combination of uh, those things so please do keep that in mind all right um, right now I'm just sitting on my hand nothing doing not much because it's it let you know uh, sometimes it's just okay to you know sit back and just watch the market rather than constantly making the trades all right let the market come to you you don't be desperate and like you know try to make trades every time you might you know there the, every second there is a trade happening all right the the ticks that you are seeing there is a trade that is going to happen but as an individual and as an individual trader your goal is to make money for yourself i mean there are people like there are doing their own thing but you need to understand they cannot come and help you you have to help yourself and by doing so you you need to be very selective in the trades that you make you you don't jump on every single thing you know be calculative be like you know protect your capital uh, you know have some a risk uh, you know a risk uh, plan that how are you going to mitigate your risk how are you going to protect your downside let's say if the market goes around 10 percent uh, down then how what is your next step Th have those questions you know run those scenarios in your head you know th those kind of things will really help you become a better trader because it will make you think what are these things that you need to you need to think of when you are making the trade and it will uh, out of like you know out of um, Let's say if you're making a ten trade, and if you if you make seven or eight trade that are in your favor, that is a very very good scenario because those trade will like you know make you your overall portfolio will be much better compared to those two or three negative trade. But let's say if you make you know fifty trades and twenty five of them are a bad trade, then you know the frustration of those twenty five, and within those twenty five there will be a couple of big uh, uh, trade where you have like you know down 20 30 percent and it will take you a lot of time to recover that 20 25 uh, 30 percent because now you have to like double those trade needs to go double the amount to you know coop the losses that you have uh, you have caused on that uh, on those trade so in, in a sense you have to go 50 to 60 percent up from that point on to be just a break even so i hope you are like understanding those points and being selective uh, about making trades and you know uh, t I, and the main thing is like you know you are like first of thing the first thing that you're worrying about is like protecting your capital and then like thinking about making money first you need to worry about how you can like protect your downside and then you worry about your upside 
upside usually takes care of it on its own. If you take care of your downside, trust me, the upside will take care of on its own. All right. So that's all for today. I went a little bit longer. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As I said, like you know, I'm just uh, just wa waiting and watching right now and letting the market come to me rather than you know keep on poking this thing. Uh, you know, let them f bears and bulls fight it out and see wh where we end up. Until then, just watch the market, right? And not, you don't have to jump on every single day. All right, uh, that's all for today. Talk to you soon.